Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we're going to build a Lego Disney Princess set that I've actually built before, but I want to add some things to it to make it just a little bit more fabulous. So we're going to build it and then we're going to do some really fun, silly play with it and add some characters. So this is the Lego Disney Princess Jasmine's Exotic Palace and it comes with Princess Jasmine. This is the only set that has got Princess Jasmine in it and that makes her kind of rare and special, I think. She's been really well designed. She looks just the way she should. And especially when you put her hair on, look at that. This is the only hair mold that is like this. It's unique to Princess Jasmine. And it, I, yeah, once again, very rare piece to have. Now, Raja also comes in this set, but he's only a little tiger cub. Look at him, he's such a baby. And he's actually supposed to be this big galumphan well, tiger, <laughs> big beast of a thing. So it is a bit small, but that's all right. And there are also, ah, there's one snake in the set and there's another little snake friend. So two little snakes are included in this set and Raja hates them. He went and hid behind Jasmine. All right, let's move the two of you over so we can start building. Oh, look at this. First thing in the set is a drumstick for Raja. Well, now that is very important. Maybe if he eats enough of them, he will grow up to be as big as he's supposed to be. <laughs> and we've got a tree over here, a palm tree, just to add a bit of shade out here in the blazing hot. And they've got some pretty flowers on them too. So a couple of big palm leaves to shade over where Raja is sitting here with Jasmine having a bit of a sit next to the drumstick. Let's put the two of you back here and let's do the next little piece of the build, which is very important to the story here. Look at these beautiful printed pieces. They're shiny and golden and sparkly. And on the back, we're putting the fringe on. Have you guessed what this is yet? We got the smoothie bits so that it slides because this is carpet. And it's even got spots here so that it can take passengers and they won't hopefully fall off. There, look at that. So carpet can go zooming around. Oh, oh, he's off. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. All right. All right, bring them back, please, carpet. Oh, it's got a decided lean. And of course, the, the passengers can also sit down if they want to, but it's kind of more daring and fun to stand up. Okay, carpet's done, got a palm tree. Now what do we have? Oh, it's the lamp. It's the genie lamp and a very special little stand. We'll put that over here till later. Princess Jasmine, if you could please not touch that at the moment, that would be really good. We'll try and distract her by building something else where she might see some nice sparkly items here at the marketplace. So we're building a market store with some very beautiful, I think, perfume bottles, some exotic looking perfume bottles. They're sparkly, they've got gems in the top, and there's this strange kind of green thing. I don't know what that might be. It might be a paste of some description. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, now we've got a little awning on here, and yes, Jasmine and Raja have been suitably distracted. <laughs> Come and look at the bright, shiny, sparkly things. Okay, it looks like it comes with this random thing and a barrel. And Jasmine, this random thing is now a flute. <laughs> oh, and she's managed to get the snake up out of the barrel, but Raja is not very impressed. He's hiding behind her. <laughs> All right, up to bag number two. Now we get to build, oh, don't touch the lamp. Don't touch the lamp yet. Now we get to build maybe another little thing, a little fountain. We'll try and distract her with some lovely cool water to drink and to soothe their dry parched throats after she did all that flute playing. Okay, we've got our little fountains ready. Yes, you can come for a bit of a splash and a bit of a drink. Excellent idea. Oh, and Raja too. Oh, there's splashing everywhere. You're getting water everywhere. All right, move over again, because now we have to build the little building. Now, this is supposed to be the exotic palace, but it's kind of a bit small to be a palace. So I reckon this might be, what do you think? I think it might be Jasmine's secret hideout in the marketplace. So she escapes from the guards and she comes here and she can well, just be herself for a while and not have to be a princess all the time. All right, we've got one of the walls on and very, very decorative, very pretty stickers for the windows. There we are. And now she has a front facade, a very beautiful front facade for her secret hideout. <laughs> okay, it's got some archways on it. I love the shape of these archways. They have, they're called OG, that shape. And 
it's just gorgeous it's very distinctive architecture and on the top here we are going to be building kind of a little terrace but we're not ready to do that yet so we're gonna come back down here put some flowers on because it needs flowers because even if it is secret it still needs to be pretty <laughs> All right, time to start filling out the terrace up here on the top. <laughs> carpet seems to think it might be a nice hiding place for, for carpet, but carpet needs to stay out of the way because uh, yeah, I'm still building. <laughs> you can come back and try it out when I'm finished though. It would be a marvelous lookout. It'd be perfect, such a high vantage point. Carpet could keep a lookout from up here. Such a good idea. All right, we're doing well. And Carpet can now sit up, <laughs> sit up here and try not to fall off. And now we'll fill out the inside of her little secret hideout. There's not a lot in here. It's kind of sparse, but there's not a lot of room anyway. So we wouldn't want to clutter it up with lots and lots of stuff. But she is going to need a seat and she gets her own gorgeous little pink carpet seat here. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, Carpet thinks so too. I think he might be in love with the new little pink carpet. <laughs> All right, we'll put our pink carpet in for now and Princess Jasmine can test it out for comfort. Oh, it's not very comfortable. It's very slippery. She keeps falling off. <laughs> Maybe it's a very fidgety carpet. Okay, and she's got one bottle in here. She's obviously indulged at the marketplace. She's got one of those beautiful sparkly bottles. All right, continuing on in the lookout up here in the terrace. There are a couple of flames. They're both blowing the same way, which is very important. And now we just need a bit of decoration, a few big golden swirls, and we're done. The marketplace and her new little secret hideout is done, but how is she going to get down from the second story? Well, that's, uh, that's Carpet's job. So he's going to deliver her back down onto the ground. All right, we have finished the build. Now let's see what we can add to this set. Now, my first thought was Princess Jasmine, when she goes out into the marketplace, she doesn't go as Princess Jasmine, she goes in disguise. So she puts on a big cloak. So we're going to put a cloak on her. There we go. Now Princess Jasmine is effectively in disguise. <laughs> Not a very good one. She needs a hood, but I don't have a hood that matches. Oh, and Apu is here now. And if Apu is here, that means Aladdin is here too. Now, I've got the right hair for Aladdin, but I don't have the right clothes for him yet. So I've just dressed him in rags. Poor Aladdin. And Apu really does not like Princess Jasmine. Bad Apu. Oh, <laughs> Apu's knocked over Aladdin, but it's too late. He has sighted Princess Jasmine, and I think it might be time for a carpet ride. All right. Are you ready? Aladdin can show you the world. You ready? Up onto the carpet, take my hand, and let's go! <laughs> it's so beautiful. All right, where is the magic carpet going to take them to? Well, of course, up to a high spot. So here we are. There we go. Do you trust me, Jasmine? I think she does. So they're up here on the top of the terrace and looking deep into each other's eyes, and Apu has come through and jumped on everybody's heads. <laughs> so they need to stop all of that. And now, now is time to rub the magic lamp and see if we can get the... <laughs> that's not a genie, that's Apu. Let's see if Jasmine can have any more luck. A hot dog, a snuggie, an ice cream, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Wonder Woman, Ariel, this, <laughs> this magic... <laughs> this magic lamp is malfunctioning. Maybe if the two of you rub it together, you might be able to get the genie to come out and have some magic wishes. <gasps> it worked! The genie is here and, well, now all your wishes can come true. Maybe, eventually, after a lot of things <laughs> go wrong. Oh, well, we're going to leave them here with the genie at the moment and hope that they can think of some very clever wishes that don't backfire on them. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when new videos go up. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I love to read your comments and I will see you for a new video very, very soon.